Hey, Joel. Did you pick a card for the new year yet? Midnight Kiss is part of the original Hulu series, Into the Dark, and is directed by Carter Smith and stars a pretty unknown cast. The whole plot of the movie is this group of friends go to a party every single year, but this year it's a little different. At the end of the night, on midnight, because it's New Year's, they each share a midnight kiss, not with each other, but with somebody else from the party. And this year, it's a little different. They're being stalked by a killer who keeps picking them off one by one, but they don't know it yet. He keeps leaving weird messages until they finally figure out who the killer is. Now, this is only one in the series. They're on their second season right now, but uh, there are other videos that I can make on them if y'all want to see more of these. Now, this movie looks pretty low budget, like it was filmed on a, a high quality camera, but it looks like it was all handheld and a pretty low production, um, just cranking the episodes out. Uh, not a whole lot of episodes, I think about 10 episodes in the whole uh, season, but um, it's pretty, like I said, low budget, um, kind of like a college film. The makeup effects overall are pretty good, though low budget. They have to take a lot of the kills off screen, and you don't get to see a lot of it, but I think it's just a, a series that doesn't have a lot of gore. It's more you just use your imagination. But the makeup, makeup effects overall for what they've shown are, are pretty decent. The killer in the movie is a, uh, uh, I guess, a old friend of somebody, we find out. But in the whole time, he's wearing this dog mask in a, in a leather, uh, looks like a hoodie, or he's wearing like a, a jacket. But he's wearing like this leather dog mask, and it looks weird. If y'all know anything about that, let me know in the comments below. This movie does pander to a certain kind of audience, uh, mainly being the LGBTQIA community. Um, but I think this could be for all people once you look past it. But it is a big part of the entire movie. The movie is kind of slow, has a lot of dialogue to it, but I think it does have enough story to where it keeps you interested, um, and you don't really know who the killer is till the end of the movie. All in all, I would recommend this. Uh, go watch the entire series. Like I said, this is the only the first one I've seen, so I will watch more in the future. Um, if y'all have any ones that you've seen that you recommend, put them in the comments down below. But other than that, go watch it and see what you guys think. I have a couple of shoutouts I want to do for y'all. My first one being for Video Creep. And then I have another one for the uh, podcast that he does, Aimless Death Discussions. But Video Creep has a YouTube channel. Uh, it talks about horror movies and upcoming horror events um, and other projects. And his other uh, podcast he does with another friend. Uh, they talk about different movies and franchises. Their last one was about uh, Freddy Krueger. Um, and it was entertaining. So I'd suggest go check those out. I'll put those in the description below. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. I will see you on the next one.